Hello. Come Hi. Forward. Hi, Corey. That's right. Oh! I'm here too. And this is Bartendris. <laughs> wow. And I'm Bartendris. Yeah. And this is Drunk Takes. Drunk Takes. Drunk Takes. Michigan. So, we're still in the middle of July. July. And you've got a box. Of I've a got a loot crate. It's a loot crate. We're going to do a loot crate from July. All right. I'm excited. You too. Before they start their boxes, oh. the bartender's here has a new beer for them to try. Oh, yeah, beer special. What's the, what's the beer? What's well, the little beer? What's the beer? The beer is the Mad Hatter. It's one of my personal faves. Okay. It's from New Holland Brewing Company. It is the seven. Ooh. What is it? I'm sorry. Seven. Seven percent. That's, that's high the for highest beer. one for the night. Wow. I'm gonna say uh, it looks like an IPA. From what I was seeing on it. It is a. It is a IPA. Another IPA. Okay. An Indian Pale Ale. All right. Just a sip or two. Yeah. And this is gonna be hoppy, I think. Okay. The hoppier, you think? I think. So it's, it's got a nice color. It's not really old. It's citrusy. It smells like grapefruit. It does. You're right. It smells like Michigan grapefruit. drug takes. Drug takes. Joy. Do we have an ingredients deal on the back of it? Does it say that it's got grapefruit in it? It definitely smells citrusy with grapefruit. I smell grapefruit. No, it does tell me what I should pair it with though. Oh yeah? Is it chips and salsa? Because that's what we're doing. Aged cheddars, herb roasted poultry, vinaigrettes, for an aged Ooh. cheddar. And six o'clock. Whoa. This is list. very bittery grapefruit. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. The this previous one we drank was very sweet. What was it? That was the no, 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 the one before that. The other IPA. Oh, the uh, the the Star Chicken Chuckin. This has a. Uh, it's the same thing I hate about dark chocolate. Whatever it is, it's that bite that like that, bitter, yeah, that like really smacks you in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. But I love uh, like a uh, sharp cheddar, specifically like a five-year sharp cheddar. If you go nine years, then it's too much. This is a little too bitey for me. It's, it's very bitter. It's a very it's, bitter yeah. idea. Yeah. What do you think, bartenders? I'm a non-beer drinker, in all fairness. I can't You're not really a beer complain. I'm, I'm, I'm a moderate beer drinker. She's I'm a, a bit of a beer snob. She's a bit more of a snob. What do you think, bartenders? You like it. I do. I really do. It's one of her favorites. What, what about it do you like the most, though? I think mean, maybe I like the bitter. Do you like the bitter? I don't, it's not heavy, but I don't like water down anything. Oh, yeah. oh, and it's really beautiful, beautiful artwork. Oh yeah. The Mad Hatter um, series. The Mad Hatter is, you know, it's a really, it's a really nice, backwards when I'm looking at it and it's throwing me off right now, but it's a really nice image of like a, kind of a Mad Hattery type guy with a yeah. teacup. That's the first beer I've ever had that told me what to pair it with though. If you're really into hops in, in, in a bitter beer as an IPA, you'll, you'll probably like it. It's, it's got a really strong flavor to it. It's not my thing. Not you. I wouldn't go out buying a six pack of it. Oh, what? Let's uh, take a look at the the July crate. Okay, it's a very thin box. It's smaller box. Previous months. Yep. We never know what that means. But thin doesn't actually mean like bad. Is it heavy? How much? Oh, it was kind of like that. Let me uh, let me open it with the knife first. Here we go. Go ahead, go ahead and pick it up. It feels like there's something in there. No. Let's take a look at what's in the box. So the very first thing, it looks like it's a, it's a hamburger. Yeah, what the heck? Um, it looks like it looks like a hamburger coming together. Is this based on like um, that old Atari game where they made the hamburgers? Burger time. Burger time. That was a fun game. Actually. It really was. Yeah. I kind of want to play it now. If the hamburgers in there. I'm gonna be really upset. If there's a raw, oh, the there. hamburgers in there. This is my favorite box. <laughs> <laughs> Rubble, rubble. <laughs> All right, let's, let's take a look at what's inside here. Let's see what so it is. we'll start with. Oh my god! Well, it's like green. green. We're gonna start with a shirt. It's a good color. It's, it's a Nickelodeon uh, shirt. Okay. Nickelodeon. It's, it's a loose it's wear a turtle, turtle, isn't it? Say it's not. It's a. It's a Ninja Turtle. Oh yeah. Oh. We're just kind of sticking together here. Oh no! Well, let's pull it. We've got. Oh, say it's not. The design it's stuck. So there we go. Yeah. But it's the classic. It's the turtle it's, wagon. It's the turtle hand. Oh, I love oh, it. With a turtle shell patina. Yep. Uh, and a hatchet. Um, 
Carol's gonna have Okay, you. so this is a little different than most of the shirts. The design is down on the bottom. Oh my gosh, I wish that hadn't stuck. Yeah. The design is down on the bottom. It looks like the actual, like, the 80s version of I haven't got any, any Ninja Turtle stuff in any of my boxes. I've got a, a You few. got Michelangelo up on the roof, Leonardo hanging out. Uh, you can't tell, that's Donatello driving. Raphael uh, with his muscles hanging out. Right. I know enough about the turtles to figure that out. It's, it's the 80s version of the turtles, though. It is, and that's that's what I like. That's the one I know. That's, that's childhood. That's amazing. That's my brother's childhood, but I but I know them more. Right. Yeah. Interesting choice to put the design down on the bottom. Yeah. If you tuck in your shirt, obviously. I mean, you, you, you do have a bit of a design of it, like you said, a shell here. But it's the just real not, design but is the down real design the is, Yeah, is down there at the bottom of the shirt. I kind of wish that design was higher up. I do too. I would have been fine with it in the middle, but it's it's, it's a style choice. Right. 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 Stuff. I can't complain too much about it. Yeah. What do you got? I have Crackers. the next one is from uh, Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers Universe. Yeah. Oh, you like Bob's Burgers? This is the Bob's Burger Bob's Bob's book. Burgers. Great. Published by book. Universe Publishing. Yeah, it's it says it's a book. So if you take a look at it here. It's it's uh it's got the family on the back here. It's got Bob's yes, their bar or their vice of bar their burger shop their burger shop on the front. It's it says it's the Bob Burger Burger Box is what it says on the, okay. the top of it. Let's let's take a look at it. Yeah. Promoting literacy. Yeah. I guess so. So the box it's like the old style crayon box to open. Oh, I love it. 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 Yeah. And then inside of it, oh no, inside of it is sealed. Oh God. <laughs> and it is the Bob. You seal the outside, and then you seal the book. Okay. Outside. Real burger recipes. Or joke burgers. It's a, it's a real recipe for joke burgers. Bob is always known for putting his joke burgers up on his billboard back behind in the main scene. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, and beef squash is on the back, which is of course Gene wearing the beef squash mask. Mm. The beef. So it's not a book. I mean, these are all loose, which is kind of oh. sucks. I would rather. Oh, I thought it was a book. Supposed to be about a book, but it's so it's recipe cards. It's recipe cards. So oh, give us an so example fun. of a recipe. So do the Brussels burger, season two. It tells you the season and the episode. Season two, episode three, synchronized swimming. Mm. Brussels sprouts. As kids, we hid them in potted plants so we wouldn't have to eat them. And as adults, we love them. I hate them. It makes do Brussels. Do, 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 but it's actual do, recipes. Do, 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 to do these different burgers, and, and there's artwork and stuff on the back. Which is, of course, a play on Do the Hustle. Yeah. Oh, I remember that episode. And that's another, is that another Brussels sprout? That's a Brussels sprout hanging on in the back of the like Brussels disco sprout ball. recipe with it as a disco ball. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, overall, if you like Bob's Burgers, and who doesn't? And you want to like make the actual burgers that he, that he puts up. Right. You know, this would be fun. I would prefer it to be an actual book as opposed to loose cards, but I mean, it's, it's recipe cards. All right, what's in the box? So let's go with the with the pin next. Oh, the, box. the next uh, the the pin itself <laughs> is uh, a July I'd say for July 2017. The uh, the theme is animation. Okay, really. And the pin itself is Bob's Burgers. Okay. So is it is it Gene in the hamburger suit? Yeah, it's Gene okay, in the hamburger so suit. So it's his mascot suit. Yeah, it's 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 Gene. It's Seriously, H. John Benjamin. It's hard to say. The next thing we have Futurama. is a cozy two pack from Futurama. Uh, let's, let's take a look. Yeah, yeah they're the same. Oh, I'm gonna put this on here. It, it's called, it's the Slurm. Slurm is, of course, their, their beverage that is super popular. Right. Apparently toxic. And apparently toxic. But Futurama is an incredibly underrated show. It is. If you're not a fan of Futurama, you really haven't watched it. Slurm. Slurm. We like Futurama. Oh. So we got Bob's Burgers, we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it really is Slurm and Brain Slugs and Hypno Codes. Right. Huge, huge in the Futurama world. Right. It's like Duff Beer. <laughs> and, and, and it plays into the whole animation. Uh, yeah. Thing, so. so this oh. is the this is the book when it comes with this. Uh, and they love us. They love us, as always. Yeah, which is great. We love you too. This is their animation theme. Uh, of course, this has all sorts of different things like how to build Bob's Burger with, with Bernard Ehrman. 
cosplay through your shiny metal cans, which is this slur right, right which here. Co cosplay. Right. So there's there's a bunch of different things or, in here. It doesn't Plus, have to be a can. We put it on the bottle. Yeah, on a bottle. Which um, is usually where my coolies go. But of course, there's also a monthly thing where you unlock the keys. With, yeah. With the, this, the, they do that every month. They have the eye. Oh, it does. there's the eye. Yep. And and I am really curious what your next item is. Well, the, the last item in here uh, is, is pretty pretty awesome. I can tell you that right now. But before I show you that, uh, yay. I'm going to show you the box. Which the, the box is the burger of the day. Burgers. The Loot Great Exclusive Burger. $5.95. Loot, Don't you wish the brains was five ninety five, right? In which it's it's Bob's burger, so you can see Bob there holding the burger. That's his board, and then that's that's why you got the burgers. So it's a very Bob burger. Teddy would order the hell out of that burger, right? The final item, and this I love. <laughs> what um, is it? It's it's a uh, it's an eighteen plus item. I'll put that. I'll put oh. it that uh, well, I see it's like, an adult swim item. This is a, an adult swim item. I'm just getting the plastic wrap off. and take that, please, bartenders. I gotta watch it's, this show. It's Rick and Morty from Adult Swim. Mm. Rick, Peace Among Us Worlds. Well, okay, what's with the cats floating, floating in space? <laughs> I'm not familiar. You got Rick, Peace you know, Among Us Worlds. We wish you Peace Among Worlds from Season 2, Episode 6. The Ricks must be crazy. Mm -hmm. We've recreated Rick giving his microverse greetings for your displaying pleasure. I've only still seen that one episode. I gotta watch the show I think because it, I think it it's was the very little bits I've seen have been awesome. Why does he have antennas? I think, I mean, you like the same. It's for the microphone. You like what? It was He's not like, we're like, very similar. Yeah. Right. We're talking all, it's, it's animated. It's episode. not only that he has, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that he's wearing antenna on his head, which is clearly like a headband. Completely awesome. Oh, he does not. He has uh, a little stand here, <laughs> and he's also given everybody a double finger here. And turn around, show the back. Show he's, the got back his, he's got his, his, his lab he's coat, got he's got his bald spot. Oh, By the way, that's really kind of cool. This but overall, if you're a Rick and Morty fan, I mean, this is really cool. And the, the fact that his middle finger's flying free, it's beautiful. Did he move at all? No, they're solid. No, it's a solid. He, he, there's no articulation, but he just said something. I gotta watch this show. It's it's a funny show. I own a lot of the stuff from that show from these boxes. I've gotta watch this show. There you go. There's focus. You get the asterisk eyes. You get the big Rick mouth. Of course, the Rick attitude. But but overall, I mean, this is this is a really good representation of of Rick. Of Rick. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, overall, this is an interesting box, so it's... Yeah. Got, little, I feel like it's slightly haphazard, though. It's a, it's a bit haphazard, but it's, I mean, it is animation. Paper. It's an animation thing, but you had three Bob... Three Bob's Two Bob Burger. Burger. No? The, the, well, okay, the box. Okay, Okay, no. Yeah. Um, well, I guess if you count the boxes. You had uh, a... Uh, the recipe cards. Recipe cards are fun. I'm going to give them oh, credit right now for not throwing in Simpsons. Sure. You that would be an easy. animation theme. That would have been easy. It's always Simpsons with these boxes. Yeah. Right. Though Rick and Morty is becoming more popular. Rick and Morty, you've Bob got Futurama. Bob's shown up a little bit. To do something Bob's other than that. Right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I'm really surprised we don't see more of the Turtles. Man, yeah. I really am because you've got a whole slew of 30 year olds who love it plus their kids love it. That but you could have had anything with animation. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, with this box, the animation box, I, I like it more than the previous box that we had. <laughs> uh, and and, and the type of box. Yeah. No, I love this. Perfect. I love, I love the Which would have fit in with animation. Which would have gone, yeah, which would have fit with this as well. Um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I like the fact that it's the 80s turtles that, I, that I'm more familiar with. Right. Um, no, don't the like placement the of the design. I would like to see it more centered on the design. I like that, that it's not, because everything is. It is different. And I like okay. different, and nobody that types being said, their t-shirt. That being said, True. nobody if they had been on the opposite corner, I might have liked it. Like a higher rather than a lower. Yeah, I just don't like the shirt designs down by my crotch. You want to know if they're looking at your crotch or looking at your crotch. I don't right want reasons. my splinter next to my Ninja Turtle. <laughs> yeah. Or my Shredder. Or Shredder. The Turtles is good. I, I like the all right. So as far as the franchise, Bob Burgers back. like that. Box. Love the Rick and Morty. Yes. Uh, love the Futurama. And and, and it is, I would I would say overall I would probably give this one maybe a seven and a half to an eight. Out of I love the quality of the 
this right I do love, what brand is this? Here's the thing. It's, it's a Loot Crate Original. I like Not that. an exclusive, oh. a Loot Crate oh. Original. But overall, yeah, it's yeah, seven-ish. Yeah, that's it. Cool. That. It's a strong seven and a half. It's a, it's a strong badger. So that's, oh. that's the July Loot Crate. Yeah. So I'm Corey. That's the bartenders. That's the Ryan. And this it's has been yet another episode of the best show you've ever seen, ever, on our station. <laughs> <laughs> I call it a station. On our I page. Swear on our God, channel. I thought turkeys could fly. <laughs> right? WKW. <laughs> 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 <laughs>